What's up, everyone? Thank you for coming back to another episode. My name is Slayer. Last episode, we killed the Ender Dragon. So, of course, this episode, we gotta go for Elytra since we didn't have time to do it last episode. Between episodes, I also got us an Ender Chest set up so we don't have to carry all of our items over the void. I also got a camera character set up between episodes. I just got it set up, so it might not be perfect, but we'll be able to do some overhead time lapses and that sort of stuff but let's uh go get this elytra i think we got everything we need so uh let's go hopefully this doesn't turn from exploring the end to exploring the void mm, this seems like a pretty good area i think I i've never done this so I, I don't know if this is a good area but let's head this way i'm gonna grab a purple tree real quick and let's go explore If you guys are liking the series so far, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, come on. I, I thought it was going to take us a while to find an end city. But no. I just had to choose the one specific area that there's one right there. I mean, I guess that means we get our elytra quickly. Wait, 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 wait. If I remember right, not all end cities have the ship. So maybe, maybe it won't have it. Then we can do more exploration. All right, place your bets. Who thinks it's going to have a ship? Who thinks it's not going to have a ship? Yeah, the ship, we got our elytra. Now... Maybe next episode we'll do some more end busting because I actually want to explore a lot more of the end. I really hope this is good. I've never been inside an end city before. From what it looks like, this one looks pretty small, but I, I don't even know what to expect. literally one tower that's it that's as big as this thing is um you know this might be a blessing in disguise because we're munching on rocks and flesh right now because we have no food we can actually spend some uh time to actually get us a food farm going this episode There is shulkers outside the ship. This is going to raise my anxiety to a whole new level. Finally, we are on the ship. Dude, them making you float over the void is freaky as hell. But let me go explore this because there's only one thing that we're looking for in here. And there it is. The Elytra. An efficiency four diamond shovel and then a bunch of iron equipment. Okay, I guess. As long as I don't die to the void, I'll see you guys back at base with the next item of our agenda. We have made it back to base and we didn't die in the end. <laughs> That's pretty good for us. So, the next step of the uh, episode is we gotta get a mending book. For our Elytra. Now, I really hate trading. I, I dislike it. Anything to do with villages, I hate. They're such a pain in my butt. But, 
we're going to use this village. We will get our menu book. So let's start it. Really, 62 emeralds for that. There's our mending book. Now we just gotta go get enough emeralds for it, because I think we only have like 11 emeralds right now. Where's our mending book? Come on, I just got the emeralds for it. I, I guess let's go for another one. Finally, there it is again. And if you're wondering why it's more expensive than what it's supposed to be, is because I actually like, punched them while I was trying to find it. I think I can get enough emeralds for one more book. One more mending book. I'm going to put this on my pickaxe. Um, next thing we got to do is we have to start getting ready for our next farm, which is going to be for food. I'm going to go get this mending book on the Elytra. I'm also going to get an Unbreaking 3 book for the Elytra. Two Unbreaking 2 books. Now we just got to combine them and then put them on the Elytra. There is our Unbreaking 3 and Mending Elytra. Now, the next step of this episode is to go make a hogland farm. Now, I am using a guide, so there will be a link in the description on the guide I'm using. We do need to get up to the uh, nether roof, though, so let's get into that. If I'm doing this correctly, this area should get us to, up to the top of the nether. Now, I did try to break the nether roof with the old uh, dark oak sapling trick, but I guess that doesn't work anymore. Shows you how long it's been since I've been on the nether roof. Wow, I can't believe that actually worked. All right, we are on the nether roof. All right, let's set our portal down, and then uh, we will have to play musical portals to get them to link up correctly, because I want the portal to be in the center of our castle, so then I have the portal that goes to the regular nether, and then a portal that goes to the top of the nether. Nope, that's definitely not right. Oh, thank God. That was not too difficult at all. Now I'm going to collect some supplies to do the uh, hogland farm, and then I will be back with the Crimson Forest. We have found the Crimson Forest. Now, if I'm watching this guide right, first thing we do is go. we go up five blocks, and then we make a 13 by 13 platform. We got to light it up so piglins don't spawn. Now, it does tell you to put the torches in a specific way, but I'm just laying them down just so I can get it lit up. I will fix the torches later. We got to make the dropping chamber. Now, it has to be right in the middle of the platform at the end with three blocks in the middle. Trap doors so they can think that they can just walk right on off. We also got to put some warp fungus down in the sides and in the corners. I guess hoglins are scared of these. I don't know why they would be scared of them, but it makes them scared. And then they run straight into the lava that we're about to place. Now, I'm just showing you guys what I am doing. If you guys want to build this, like I said the, the link is going to be in the description and it'll tell you exactly how to build this. I'm just kind of showing you guys what I'm doing. Now the final step of this is to make the killing chamber.
and that's the farm basically done. I am going to go up to an AFK platform and chill because I got a bunch of stuff to do. So I'll bring you guys back once we got some uh, food. Sorry guys, the audio didn't pick up. I just realized it. I'm guessing my webcam character just didn't have audio on. I, I don't know. I have no clue. Well, I ended up AFK way longer than what I expected to. Let's uh go check out our food. We should have a lot of food in there. Oh yeah, our food issue is gone now. We actually have actual food. Now we can uh go do our next step, which is to start building on our base some. We have a lot area to remove. Basically, that whole line on the uh, back side of the village has to be completely removed. I am going to make a time lapse of it. Let me go know in the comments what you guys think of it. Let's get into it. Wow, this area looks completely different without all those houses right there. Now the next step and final thing we are doing this episode is we are going to build the first 
wall and tower. Now, I collected a lot of resources for this part of the uh, video. Now, you guys will see the actual mine once the actual castle is completed. And, w and I'm also leaving all the ores down there and everything, so you guys will see everything. I think we're going to start with the actual towers first. I got the wall up to uh, too high. And yeah, I don't know how big we're going to make this yet. I just want to ma make it big enough to where it looks like, holy crap, that's huge. I think we're about 20 blocks high. I think this is about as tall as I want the towers. Because there's going to be stuff on top of the tower and everything like that. So it's probably going to be about 25 to 30 blocks high after everything's said and done, I think. But let's fly down to the bottom, see how it looks, and we'll decide if this is tall enough. It may or may not be. Oh, wow. Dude, this thing's massive. So this is just the outer wall as well. I plan on having an inner wall that's going to be bigger than this wall. And that's going to actual house my uh, my internal base. Because the outside is going to be for villager trading and everything like that. Then the in inside wall is going to be for me. So I think this is about where I want it to be. But let's start on the uh, walls now. And then we'll do the uh, second tower. I haven't fully decided how big I want the walls yet. Um, I know last episode I said I wanted them to be about half the size of the uh, towers. I think I'm going to go up a little bit higher than that. I think I'm going to want them to be about 75% of the height of the towers. I'm looking at my webcam character, and this looks like it is going to be about the perfect height for this wall. So I'm going to go do the the back side of the wall, and then we'll uh, build up the second tower. Just due to the sheer size of this thing, we are using up so many resources. Oh my god, this thing's already looking so cool. Even though I don't want to, I'm going to have to call the episode there. This episode's getting long. So, leave in the comments what you guys want to see on the top of these. Or how you guys want me to spruce this up a little bit, make it look even better. But, thank you guys for watching this far, if you guys made it this far. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.